Hello, my name is Christina Oliver. This is class nursing 213, module three discussion. So the complication I picked was deep vein thrombosis, DVT. Hello, my name is Christina Oliver. I am your nursing student. And the doctor just left, and I want to ensure you if you know and understand deep vein thrombosis and how we can manage it together. What is deep vein thrombosis, DVT? Deep vein thrombosis, commonly known as DVT, is a condition where a blood clot forms in a deep vein, typically in the legs. This can cause swelling, pain, and redness in the affected area. The danger of DVT is that the clot can break free and travel to the lungs, causing a pulmonary embolism, which is a serious medical emergency. What are the manifestations of DVT? or the signs and symptoms. You should watch for swelling, usually in one leg, but it can affect both legs. Pain or tenderness, this often starts in the calf and can feel like cramping or soreness. Red or discolored skin, the skin over the affected area may also feel warm to the touch. Vein that feels hard or bulging, you might notice that the vein looks larger or feels firmer than usual. What are some treatments or interventions to resolve a DVT? There are several strategies we can use to manage DVT. One, coagulation therapy. This is the most common treatment for DVT. Coagulants, also known as blood thinners, work to prevent the clot from getting bigger and reduce the risk of a new clot forming. Common medications include heparin, often used initially because it works quickly, Warfarin or Coumadin, typically used for long-term treatment and requires regular blood tests to ensure the correct dose. Other new treatments are what is called direct oral anticoagulants or DOACs. These include medications such as Eliquis and Xarelto. They do not require blood tests. Another intervention is compression therapy. Wearing compression stockings can help reduce swelling and prevent further clot formation. They work by applying pressure to your legs, which improves blood flow and reduces the risk of clotting. I'm gonna give you some education on medications to treat DVTs. And we already went over it there, the anticoagulants. It is important to understand medications you'll be taking for your condition. Heparin. This medication is usually given through an intravenous or IV or as an injection under your skin. It works quickly to prevent existing clots from growing and to stop the new clots from forming. You'll need regular blood tests to monitor your blood level, your clotting levels. Your other medication Coumadin, this is an oral medication taken in pill form. It takes a few days to start working, so it's often used 
after initial treatment with heparin. You'll need regular blood tests to monitor your INR. And that stands for International Normalized Ratio to ensure the dose is correct. And the last medications are your direct oral anticoagulants. These newer medications are taken by mouth and include Eliquis and Xarelto. They have fewer dietary restrictions and don't require regular blood monitoring. And if you could think of any other questions, please reach out to me and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.